Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of my students. So today we are going to learn how to create a use case diagram. Okay, uh, by using star UML. So uh, first we need to do is uh, click on, on model explorer. So click on model, right click, add diagram and choose use case diagram. Okay, so click on it. So you can see uh, uh, this icon and uh, stated as use case diagram one, and then you can see the toolbox here, and then this is the element that should uh, be included in uh, use case, uh, for example, package, use case subject, use case actor, and etc. Okay, first what I need to do is. Uh, Let's say we, we, we want to create the actor first. So click on this uh, toolbox actor and then click on this uh, whiteboard. Okay, so actor one will be displayed and then just rename it on the properties. Let's say uh, warehouse uh, agent and then enter. Okay. And then we have uh, another actor. Let's say you have another actor, the second actor. Click on it and the toolbar and click on the whiteboard. Okay. And then in this case, let's see customer. Okay. And then uh, create the use case. So click on the use case and click on the whiteboard. So this one, uh, track account okay and then second one is order item okay third one is uh, right uh, inventory okay and then fourth one is generate invoices and then the fifth one is generating making slips okay right you have and then you need to arrange it okay uh, okay like this okay then you want to create the uh, directed association. Okay, click on it, and then and then click here to here. Eh? Okay, and repeat again. Okay, and this one, and this one, and then this one. Eh? Okay, for customer. Uh, in this case, the customer only trigger the order item. Is case so just only one directed association. Okay, next is uh, to create the use case subject yeah, to show the external and internal boundary. So click on use case subject, and then and then select the whiteboard like this. Eh? Okay, and then you just uh, let's see. This is the inventory uh, packing system. So this is the uh, name of the system. Okay, and then uh, you can customize it. Let's say you want to, you don't want to show the shadow here. So just uh, select the control A. Eh? Uh, to select all, eh? click Ctrl A and then go to format and then uh, untick eh? uh, or, or tick this one so so there is no more shadow ok, how do you want to transfer to uh, uh, Microsoft Word so just open up the Microsoft Word let's say this is the blank page of Microsoft Word so choose uh, insert 
then go to screenshot screen clipping okay and then you just crop it eh? like this okay okay and then see automatically automatically you uh, display in the uh, microsoft okay that's all thank you